Hi there, this is Muzammil and in this video I'll talk about formative and reflective measures. Now before I start talking about this topic I'd like to thank Professor Felix from Monash University for he improved my understanding of this topic. That said, if there are any errors in this video they're completely mine. Now let's move on to formative and reflective measures. Now we spend a lot of time developing our framework, our research model, and then we spend a lot of time again on the constructs, on the relationship between the constructs. But in between, what gets ignored sometimes is the, the, the importance of the measurement of those constructs. In the structural equation modeling, the measures make the measurement model and it's the constructs that make the structural model. Now if there is a problem with the measures automatically there will be a problem with the structural model also. So there are actually two models of the relationship between constructs and measures. The first one is called the reflective measurement model and the second one is called the formative measurement model. Now in case of the in case of the reflective measurement model it's the construct that causes the change. It's the construct that leads to the change in the measurement items, sometimes also called indicators or simply items. But in case of the formative model, it's the measurement items that cause the change in the construct. And that's the reason why here in figure B, we have the arrows pointing towards the construct, indicating that the change is coming from the measurement items and it goes towards the construct. But in case of the reflective measurement model, the change comes from the construct and the arrows therefore are pointed towards the measurement items. Now it's important to remember here that in case of the reflective measurement model it's the correlation between the indicators that's very important. In other words the correlation in these among these indicators should be high. But in case of the formative measurement model, it's the construct validity that's important. In fact, some researchers suggest that these measurement items in the formative model should have as low correlation as possible. Now let's move on to a further explanation about these measures. Now this slide is very important. As we can see here, in case of the reflective measurement approach, the aim is to try to maximize the overlap between interchangeable indicators, which in other words means that there should be a high correlation between the indicators. But contrary to that, in case of the formative measurement model, the aim is to minimize the overlap between complementary indicators. In other words, the indicators in case of the formative measurement model are very distinct from each other. Now, we can also see that the major conflict between these two perspectives is the role of the theory. From the reflective measurement model perspective, or I should say simply reflective, uh, reflective measurement perspective, we should develop theories of the relationship between the constructs and use those theories to shape how data will be collected. But in case of the formative perspective, we should look for patterns in data and let the data provide the basis for the theories. So these are completely two different perspectives. Now, what's also important to understand in this case is that in case of reflective indicators, the indicators are essentially interchangeable and therefore the removal of an item does not change essentially the nature of the construct. But in case of the formative measures, since it's the indicators that lead to the change in the construct, omitting an indicator 
is omitting a part of the construct and therefore there'll be a, there'll be a huge change in the construct also now this table here tells us about what's true about reflective measures and what's true about formative measures you can pause the video here and take a look at this table because this this slide answers almost all the questions about formative and reflective measures. I hope this tutorial has been a little helpful. Thanks for watching.